last center in the NBA to win a scoring title was Shaq. Here's Harden using the Thibel screen. On the low post, it's Embiid. Draws the double, spins away from it, and it just doesn't matter how many guys you put on him. He finds a way to create space and knock down jump shots. In February, he averaged 33 points per game. 34 in January as Randall connects. At one point, the Sixers were a 500 team. Evan Fournier, and another turnover, but it gets right back to Robinson for the throwdown. In the game against Philadelphia on Sunday, but he did have 10 rebounds, 9 in the first quarter. We'll see how he handles and beat. Three ball for R.J. Barrett, who's off to a great start with 8 points. R.J. Barrett misses. His first miss from three. Here's Harden driving. Gets fouled. Count the basket. James Harden will go to the line. His first home points. Barrett tried to spin. Thibel reached in to tip it away. Here's Randall with one on the shot clock. Hoist and hits the long two against Thibel. Here's Harden again. Step back three. Got it. James Harden. Here's Julius Randle facing up on Korkmaz, trying to again power him as he floats through the lane. Randle able to get that one to go. He's got seven. I, I thought they would send the double team with Korkmaz ending up on Randle on that play, and Randle took advantage. Here's Maxi getting to the basket. Manuel quickly, second-year pro out of Kentucky on the floor. He was... A late first round pick by Oklahoma City. Draft rights traded. And the basket goes for Randall. They had Niang on him that time. Again, going to that right hand into a step back. MB just lost it that time. Here's quickly pulling up in transition. And the three goes. And the lead is back to seven for the Knicks. Quickly drives past Danny Green and gets the bounce. Got the pass away to the corner. Shake Milton, who started the second quarter. He missed a month plus due to a back injury. Cam Reddish, long arms, and a sweeping left-hander off the glass that goes. Not always yeah. worrying about scoring. I think that's the maturation of any young player. Did something right there. Made a nice pass. Giving it up to the open Gibson for the dunk. Meanwhile, the next step for Philadelphia is making the conference finals. As Barrett drives and throws it down. R.J. Barrett, 13 points in the first half. And they're going to get Kevin Durant back tomorrow. But they've got to get out of the play-in tournament because it's looking like uh, that's where they're headed. Harden with another basket. He's in double figures now. He looks like he's in great shape. And he didn't look like he was in great shape to start the season. Barrett pull-up jumper, and it's another bucket for R.J. Barrett. Sixers have won three in a row, five of their last six. Harden for three. James Harden with his second triple, 17 first-half points. 11 in the quarter for Harden, and the Sixers back within nine. They trailed by as many as 16, great up and under. Julius Randle puts it in. He's got 14. Two-time National Player of the Year at Duke. Here's Randall again with the jumper against Niang, who just can't handle him. 16 points for Randall. Eighth rebound for MB to go with nine points. Goes right at Robinson and finishes beautifully over the outstretched arm of the defender. And his first on the home court. Here's Barrett weaving through traffic. Pull-up jumper. 19 points for Barrett in the first half. And they're allowing him space to get to his spots in rhythm. Harden penetrates. That's against Julius Randle. Harden showing that strength. Finishing off the window. Have been overlooked because of the Knicks' struggle this season, but also because of the player drafted a spot ahead of him in 2019, John Morant, who's been taking the league by storm as Joel Embiid gets the bucket and a chance for an and one. There were plenty of naysayers. A lot of beat writers, message boards. Now, it's self-belief and work. What it comes down to. Embiid with a three, and here come the Sixers back within one. You've seen that before with Doc yelling at the officials. Once or twice. <laughs> Playing for him in L.A. Barrett the lob, and Robinson with the stuff. Here's Burks out to Barrett for three. It's good. R.J. Barrett, you can just see the growing confidence from this 21-year-old. He's got 22 points. Pre-game talked about 
his decision making and the growth there. This guy's playing really good basketball right now. 82 points his last three games. Thibault able to answer with a three from the corner. Is one of the reasons they've been able to build that team and have success. No question. Bain a candidate for most improved player, as is Maxi. And the three from Maxi. Patience to just wait for the guy to come, make the right pass over and over again, recognize that someone's going to be the beneficiary of the attention drawn to him. When if Embiid is playing and we would always we would always get sort of a hey I don't know yet he'll tell us answer so it seems like he's definitely becoming way more part of the team and Doc Rivers said it's contributing to his great play. Malik Monk for them has been really really good the last couple months. Randall takes it right at Embiid and scores that's 19 for Randall. Have them in the seventh position after 63 games. Niang hits a three. The largest lead of the night for the Sixers. And part of that is they're hitting threes. They're five of six from three-point range in the quarter. There's Emmanuel quickly getting into the lane for two. Is there a story that stands out above all others for you, a moment that you had with Coach K? I really struggled my sophomore year as George Niang hits another three. Philly, Philly fans go nuts every time he hits the floor. Maxi's three is there, and the lead is up to 10. Timeout, Tibbs. We didn't see that look from Tom Thibodeau as much last year as we've seen it this year. <laughs> and a frustrating season for all involved with the Knicks. Here's Harden putting it on the deck, taking top into school, and one. If the Knicks can make a run here, they had a 16-point lead at one point. Reddish gets it to drop and a foul. Here's Harris now, shot clock down to four. Green gives it up, here's Harris from the mid-range. There we go. Ends a 7 nothing Knicks run. Is this a feeling out process for him? He's got a, a different type of point guard that he played with, obviously, in Ben Simmons the last couple years here. Basket for Barrett and one. Saw early in the game, him and Harden, that last play, he's getting shots as a screener. There he is making a great read. So this is just his third game after being traded February 10th. Maxi drives and gets it in the lane. So the lead back to 12 now for the 76ers. Robinson with a dunk. Barrett with a nice dump off. Don't forget the Suns and the Blazers up next as the three goes. Tyrese Maxi again. He's got 20 are going to stick in this league for a long time. Here's Burks for three. Knicks needed that. Keep them within striking distance. They got it back to 12 with five minutes gone by here in the fourth. Very productive, struggling a little bit here in the second half. Turnover. Just five points, by the way, for Randall since intermission. Here's Barrett. Nicely done. He's got 28. Eight-point game again. Shot clock down to five. Embiid working on Gibson, facing up, takes the jumper. It's good. Joel Embiid now with 25 points. And they have a 10-point lead over the Knicks here in closing time. Shot clock at three. Maxi trying to create some airspace. Everything going in tonight. Maxi spinning out of trouble. And I also think even with the injury to Chris Paul and Devin Booker and COVID protocols, the only way Golden State can catch them is if Draymond Green is back sooner rather than later. The players are in 2052. <laughs> and beat, and Bible tipped it in. It was deflected initially by a Nick. And three-pointers.